Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K General Wellness. Today's tip <clears throat> is about um, children and you know getting them motivated to be healthy, uh, whether it's you know working out or just being active, you know that play 60 or whatever. Um, you know, a member and I uh, this morning were talking about you know she's kind of worried about her kid, you know putting on a little little punch through the belly and you know she's you know worried but doesn't want to like put like all emphasis on you have to lose weight because the thing is kids are kids and you know kids are going to go through you know those kind of grow this way before they grow this way kind of spurts and and stuff like that so I mean it's a good idea to kind of keep that in mind however you don't want to focus on and say you have to lose weight you have to lose weight because they're kids um, you don't want to instill this kind of you know the eating disorder kind of mentality in them that they have to be worried about their weight and stuff like that um, but the important thing is just for them to be healthy you know I mean they're gonna put put on some weight they're gonna be thin they're gonna be you know they're gonna be a little short and stubby and then they're gonna go through growth periods except for me I didn't go through a growth spirit spirit at all or uh, area at all um, spurt <laughs> no I didn't No, I'm still five foot but anyway um, but you know what I mean so you know they're, they're gonna be uh, kids are kids and they're gonna be going through all kinds of growth spurts through everything um, and uh, you know just the main thing is just to, to show them the importance of you know getting outside and playing or you know just you know if they want to you know encourage them to play along with you while you pop in a DVD you know and do your exercises or your yoga or whatever you know challenge them to see if they can do it you know see if they're better than mommy or daddy um, you know and go into the to the track well take them along to the track too and have them you know work, work um, walk with you or run with you or you know kind of make games out of it like you know let's see who can get to the top of the stairs first or you know let's see who can get to that stretch first so you're kind of motivating them and, and showing them how fun exercise could be without it actually being like oh my god I have to go exercise like some of us feel a lot of times um, you know it should be a fun kind of thing it should be you know that we that we know we're doing something good for not just our outsides but our insides you know internally through our organs and all that stuff and blood pressure and cholesterol and all that and also our mental you know um, the more we you know get those endorphins going and we're feeling good about ourselves you know the more we do feel good about ourselves and that projects outwardly as well and so we want our kids to do that you know we're always worrying about whether our kids are going to get bullied or this that and the other but if they feel good about themselves and and you know like through different workout challenges or stuff like that you know that mommy and daddy put them through you know they're feeling good because they're they're achieving things and and they're they're getting those endorphins flowing themselves you know just because they're kids doesn't mean that they don't have those endorphins and and doesn't mean that they don't need those endorphins to be flowing and the hormones and all that stuff you know I mean it's very important to instill that this stuff is and can be fun and it's good for you here here internally out you know externally all that good stuff you know so you know working out does a lot of good things and you can make it fun and that's the key to making it you know for, for kids to actually get motivated and, and doing that and and if they're motivated then they may in turn motivate you if they're wanting to go outside and walk around the neighborhood or something and you don't want to they might be like come on mom let's go out and walk I don't want to oh but my kid wants to so my kid is watching me so I have to lead by example so yeah okay let's go so you know that's a buddy system in it in itself as well um, another thing that is very 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 important that we talked about that that you know sometimes parents don't realize you know obviously you know that the eight-year-old ten-year-old whatever can't go to the grocery store and buy their healthy foods themselves okay they have to eat whatever you're putting on the table they have to eat whatever's in the cupboard so if you're placing junk food in, in the cabinets if you're placing junk food or fatty foods or you know not so healthy choices or whatever on the table then that's what they're eating and if they're eating that kind of junk food or whatever not so healthy choices because it's easier or faster and they're not going outside and playing well guess what's going to happen it, you know I mean so the, the key is to also remember that they're not in control of the foods that go onto the table you are you know they're not in control of what's going in the cabinet you are if you do not put ho-hos and Twinkies in the cabinet they're not going to be eating ho-hos and Twinkies 
you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you're not putting sodas and, and you know, all that carbonated, you know, and, and like, fake juice things in the refrigerator, they're not going to drink it. So you're in control of, of actually, you know, what goes into their system. So think about that. You know, if you don't want them eating that stuff, then don't. Don't put it in the house. There was a lady, uh, I don't know, last year or something, you know, she was trying to sue McDonald's because McDonald's put this, you know, toy in this Happy Meal or whatever that the kid wanted. Well, guess what, Mom? You're in control of not buying that Happy Meal or not. You can't sue McDonald's for just because they put a freaking toy that the kid wants. You have to, you're the adult, you know what I mean? So, like, you have to place the, the, the thoughts and the ideals in that kid. You know, I mean, either the kid's going to eat something healthy or, you know, something, whatever that you cook or whatever. And, and then take them to Five Below or the Dollar Tree and get them a toy. You know what I mean? Like, there's compromises. But don't let that kid, that eight-year-old, whatever, however old that kid was, control what you're buying because that kid wants that toy and then you're going to blame it on McDonald's for your kid being overweight. No, sorry, you're in control of that. You're in control of what you buy, you're in control of what you put on the table, you're in control of what you put in the cabinets, and you're in control of whether the kid goes outside and plays. There's another thing that I, you know, told my, uh, my one mom that, that, that we were talking. You know, if the kid wants to watch TV for an hour, like maybe there's an hour, you know, cartoon or movie or episode or whatever that, that the kid wants to watch, make them have to exercise for a half hour you know it's it's like you know give and take you want to sit down and watch tv for an hour you're gonna to have to give me some play time you know some kids just love to play like me i was outside from the time the sun you know was up to the sun went down i came in for maybe lunch i came in for maybe a drink or we had the hose outside we were you know sucking water down from the hose and we were outside playing again so, or, you know, out playing, it, doing our, our thing, you know. Um, so there's, there's things that you as a parent can control. And yes, I know I am not a parent. However, I was raised by one. And, you know, I mean, you're, you know, you come to me and ask for, you know, tips on how to get your kid motivated. Well, this is one way of getting your kid motivated. You know, if they, if they want something, then they have to give something. Um, you know, I mean, and also the, the major, major thing is with the foods, you know, the, the kid is not going to eat, you know, the, the kid can't go to the grocery store and buy their own food. So you're in control of what you bring into the house. You're in control of what you put on the table. Um, you know, I know growing up, we weren't, we didn't have all that money and, and you know, we had not so healthy choices but we had you know mom made sure that we had vegetables and stuff like that but you know some of our meats weren't may have not been that you know that great and some of our you know whatever um but fact was i was outside playing i was always outside playing um you know and uh, you know it was it was portions of you know things it wasn't like you know she shoved everything down my throat and all that stuff so there are ways and things that you can control as a parent as far as what comes into the house and what goes in their body because if you don't bring the junk in their house in your house the junk isn't going into the body you know, we had ho-hos and twinkies here and there but it wasn't like we could just go and grab them we had to ask and and um you know it was only on special occasions because one, mom couldn't afford to always stack the house with all of that, so they were just scourges and special occasions where we got that Twinkie or whatever. Um, you know, so think about those things and ways you can control, you know, and maybe even hide the junk food and give them, you know, like I said, as a, as a, as a, a treat, not, you know, but I, I don't really like rewards, food rewards, you know, I don't, um, but um, at, at any rate, there are different ways that you can control certain foods that go into the body, <clears throat> you know, to help, you know, that kid. Because sometimes kids are just, you know, some kids are more prone to, you know, pack it on around the belly than others. Some are like bean poles and, you know, some have some stockiness to them. So, you know, get them activated, you know, help them encourage you to stay activated and vice versa. Um, and, you know, just watch what you bring in the house. And then that can, you know, also help with, you know, some of the, 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 the pudginess, so to speak, that, you know, the mom said about this morning. So I hope that kind of helps you with, you know, any issues that you might be having, or maybe in the future, you know, maybe you don't have it now, but, you know, maybe later on you kind of keep that in your, in your food for thought bank and, um, you know, get that kid out there and get them active and, and, you know, make games out of it and stuff like that to show them that, you know, 
this stuff can be fun and it actually is good for you here and good for you here and it could help in in later years prevent some bulliness where the kid might stand up you know for them i know a lot of you know a lot of me like i was bullied but i was able to stand up for myself um, I may have gotten the shit beat out of me, but I stood up for myself. I wasn't backing down from anybody, and that was because I at least felt a little bit of something, something good about myself because of playing, you know, ball out in the neighborhood and stuff like that with the kids and stuff. So it does help. So get them active, make games out of it, help them help you be motivated, and you help them be motivated, and watch what you bring into the house. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.